you guys can see here on the screen, it's a bit of a sad day for the channel. My account that I've worked so hard on all year is banned permanently from Madden Ultimate Team. Now, let me explain to you guys what happened. So, last week, the day before the training variety came, the pack came out, I had a lot of coins, so I had purchased Ed Two Tall's golden ticket for about 3.5 mil after fan appreciation. They announced the training variety pack, so the smart Madden player that I am <laughs> decided I'm going to sell my Ed Two Tall, post them on the block, see if somebody will buy them. Hopefully I can get lucky and gain most of those coins back before golden tickets go back into packs in the variety pack where they are going to drop dramatically in price. Now, I posted my Too Tall the night before the announcement of the training variety pack. He did not sell. So I reposted him after the training variety pack got announced, and he sold that night for about 2.8 mil, about six hours before the training variety pack came out. <clears throat> so the next morning, training variety pack comes out. I have all my training, all my coins ready to go, get all the golden tickets, and I ripped and ripped and ripped, went to work, came back on, ripped a little bit more, and I was putting a new uniform on, just ready to do a lineup update for you all, and... I got a message saying that I was denied access to this feature. Super, super unfortunate. I have reached out to absolutely everybody I can. And unfortunately, EA denied my ban request. What happened was their bot detection system, since I sold too tall for well above the median price that he was going for the next day, detected it as coin selling. So I got pot for coin distribution, even though I didn't do anything wrong. I know there are some of you all out there in the community that had the exact same thing happen to them. And it's really, really unfortunate, guys. I know, um, shout out to Ijo Bruin on YouTube, had the exact same thing happen on his no money spent account. We never broke terms of service. We never did anything wrong. We just played the market like we should have, trying to get as many coins back off the four or five million golden tickets that were just insanely overpriced knowing that they were going to drop dramatically in price. So I'm banned guys, but I did start a new count and I'm going to hop over there. And I'm going to show you the progress we've made. It's pretty impressive. All right, boys. So we're over here on the other account. As you can see, my team is not as good as it was on the other account, but we do still have a 98 overall team. I had to pump a little bit of money into the game that I did not plan on putting into the game. Um, to keep putting out content for you and so I can keep playing the game on a competitive level because as you know I got banned so there's not much I could really do about it I'm still disputing it I'm gonna make a call to EA on Monday and hopefully try to get it overturned try to get all this figured out but it is not looking hopeful I'm gonna be honest with you um, I know I'm not gonna say hundreds of people got banned but probably close to 800 everybody that bought or sold a golden ticket on last Friday before uh, or last Thursday night or Thursday even midday before the training variety pack got introduced into the game got banned from my knowledge everybody I've talked to personally that's bought or sold a golden ticket on that specific day got banned I talked to a guy on Twitter who was on PlayStation who actually was the one that bought my golden ticket at too tall that I had posted on the block he said that he forgot the training variety pack was coming out the next morning and he bought him and he caught a ban too for buying my golden ticket so EA has a really really flawed bot system um, here I am gonna show you the team like I said so we're rocking a 25 Cowboys, 25 Falcons, 25 Washington football team. We have an extra few spots for fillers here. Uh, we got 99 speed Vernon Davis, 99 speed Kyle Pitts. We got the free Robert Hunt with post up. I got a decent offensive line. As you can see in the top corner, we are 98 overall. Rockin' Ben DiNucci, a quarterback for now. I did try out the new Cam Newton. I don't really like his uh, audible animations for one. For two, I know he's a big guy and he doesn't really fumble like that. But I do like Ben DiNucci. He feels a little bit uh, more nimble, I guess you could say. And he's got the same speed with the 25 Cowboys. So I'm rocking him for now. Also, Cam uh, really sold me on some throw on the runs. 
made some really, really bad plays for me that cost me, uh, almost cost me a couple games. I did play Weekend League on this account, by the way, guys. I'm sorry, I know this is a little bit of a ramble, a little bit of a longer video, but I want to completely update you guys on everything that's going on. I played Weekend League on this account. I did fairly well, not as well as I usually do. I didn't get go 25-0, and 0, um, which is unfortunate. I did record all the games for Weekend League on this account, so I am going to be pumping those videos out as the week goes on. I'm probably going to do uh, three or four gameplay videos, breaking down the games and going over everything. I played some really, really good games this weekend, Lee, guys. Some of the best games I've played all year on this new account. Um, I don't know why they matched me up in so many hell games, but almost every single game this weekend, league was a hell game. A uh, little bit of a note, I did finish top 100. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly where I finished till I end the uh, weekend league recap videos but i just wanted to give you guys that little update let's go over here to the defense we are still rocking uh sean taylor we are rocking the julio jones the backyards baller now since we got the 25 falcons good nice little pickup we got uh carl banks no insiders no outsiders or inside stuff no outsiders for one ap each J. Ron curse i used my power up pass on him um, I actually grinded out levels before the season changed over so I could get my power up passes. Uh, super, super important to me. I got to almost level 40, not quite there though, so I didn't get the 96 power up pass, but I did get the 95 so I could get J. Ron Curse. Um, we got Mike Haynes, Deion Sanders, and Dominican Sue, Billy Johnson. We got this uh, Tony Casillas, and as you can see here, we are level 15, so we have. A new collectible for him to boost him up to a 93 overall this is a really good card guys if you pick him um, when he gets to a 97 overall I believe he gets inside stuff for free which is absolutely huge but for now we're just gonna rock him as our D tackle number two because I don't want to spend coins on a D tackle number two since he won't see my field very often uh, we have the golden ticket Ed two tall cornerback which is just a crazy card 6-9 deep route KO we have the golden ticket Cordell Patterson, cornerback, really good card. Deep route KO on him. Acrobat, deep route KO on Westry. And we have mid zone on Sean Taylor. This is not the full Sean Taylor. I still have to get him, but I'm probably going to have to power up past him because he is so insanely expensive. I had him on the other team, but I can't quite afford him on this account just yet. But there's the defense, guys. We got Morton Anderson, the kicker, and the uh, Johnny Hecker from the theme team bundle as our punter. Now, I'll hit level 15, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this level 15 offer. And if you guys do not know, in the store, this level 15 offer is a crazy offer, and it is going to be 11 plus, or 11 times 90 plus overalls, and 3 times 98 plus overalls. Now, it is 50 bucks. Um, this is going to be one of the last times I spend money on this game, so I want to make it count, and this is the best offer in the store that I've seen all year. So we're gonna go ahead and open this, see what we can get, and if we get a little bit of training, cards that are training value, we're gonna roll some training variety packs, and I'm gonna tell you more what I think about the whole band situation while we do that. So let's open this, and hopefully we can pull Sean Taylor. That would be awesome. I don't know what this pack's gonna look like, so let's start with the 90 plus elites. See what we can get here. The first pack, I'm hoping it's not a 90, because I don't know what the odds are. It's a 90. It looks like the, a lot of these are probably going to be 90s if I had to guess. It's going to be like a 9 or 10 90 overalls. Yeah, this is a 92, 91 Von Miller. So we'll have a little bit of training to rip. But yeah, guys, I got banned. It's super, super unfortunate. Um, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't break the terms of service. I shouldn't have got banned. And if you guys are in the same position, you shouldn't have got banned either. It's really not fair at all. And the fact that my appeal did not go through is just absolutely insane to me. <laughs> I can't believe that um, they're going to keep my ban even though I did nothing wrong. And the people at EA Help, I just think they have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. They don't know anything about the market or the game or MUT itself. So when I try to explain to them the situation, they just don't know what I'm talking about. And they decided to keep the ban. Honestly, I think it's probably a bot that... um as we get our second 93 overall Plexico Burris. I think it's probably a bot that uh, 
does the ban appeals as well. I don't think it's a dedicated team, as they say it is. Otherwise, they would know the situation and probably would have overturned my ban. But it is what it is. I'm not going to try to dwell on it too much because every time I even think about it, I get so upset. I put so much work into that account. I finished number one in Weekend League last month on that account, and now I have to start all over. But just in case you guys are wondering or you wanted to add me or look at me on leaderboards or whatever, um, killacam underscore band is my new account. Killacam underscore band. So if you guys check the uh, PlayStation 4 leaderboards, that's where I'm at. As we get into our first 98 plus overall, we get a draft player and we get 99 Trayvon Walker. That's training. I'm not going to complain too much. It could be a lot worse. But we do get a 99 for our first 98 plus. Hopefully we get a redux here. Another draft player. Oh, and it's a 98 Sauce Gardner. That's not too bad of a pull. You know, I'm pretty sure he goes for a decent amount of coins. Hopefully we can pull a redux on this last 98 plus. I don't want to see the draft animation. I want to see a golden ticket or a redux. Oh, and we get an ultimate legend, Charles Haley. You know, it is what it is. Could have been a lot worse. So let's uh, quick sell some of this stuff and get the training variety packs. All right, guys, this is going to be a really long video if I don't go uh, fast forward through all these not good pools. But as far as the ban situation goes, I can't believe that after I contacted EA Help, they still are going to leave my account banned. Um, they said they were going to push it forward to the support team or whatever that means, but they were no help whatsoever. The guys that they use for outsource work on EA Help, um, they don't understand Madden or the auction house or any of the content so I, I try to explain to them why I got detected by the bots for coin selling they don't care they don't understand and they're not gonna unban me because they saw that I sold a card for 2.8 million coins that was going for 600,000 coins the next day and they just assume I was selling coins and they don't really care about my case whatsoever even though I've spent hundreds of dollars on this game throughout the year, and I was literally the number one weekend league player in weekend league for current gen last month. So, the situation is what it is. Um, I hate it. I don't think my account's gonna get unbanned. I literally tried everything to get it unbanned, but I don't think it's gonna be successful. Um, it really, really sucks. I worked so hard on that account, guys. I put my blood, sweat, tears, and hard-earned dollars into that account just to get absolutely shit on by EA. So I'm at a loss for words about it at this point. I'm not really sure what to do, but I'm going to keep grinding, putting out videos for you guys on my other account. Um, as you see here, we pull another rare strategy card. And on this little pack opening, guys, I didn't pull too, too much crazy, but I did pull a lot of... Um, strategy cards that I ultimately end up going to exchange up to rare strategy cards. I have the two DB in the zones and the two wide receiver um, deep route specialists, so I'm good on that. I don't really need any more strategy items as of right now. My team's pretty stacked, um, except for the ultimate legend uh, LTDs. I still have to get those, and that's going to be a little bit of grind because some of those are really expensive. Here we pull another 95. Uh, Phil Sims, we're gonna quick sell that for training as well and keep going. But hopefully, as as the time goes on, that the reduxes are out in packs, they'll get a little bit cheaper and a little bit more affordable. You would hope. I really need Sean Taylor. Um, I'm gonna have to get that Ed Reed. I did buy Alan Fanica uh, after recording this video, so I do have him. As we see here, we finally get our first golden ticket of the pack opening, and it's actually going to be Jeremy Chin. Um, I am going to sell him. I'm not going to keep him on the team, but he was going for about 360,000 coins when I pulled him, so that's a huge W. That's going to help us come up, and ultimately the reason that I bought Alan Fanica is because I pulled him, and I feel like I had enough coins to spare. But anyways, guys, um, I know my team is definitely really good enough to compete, but I do want to get those guys with the discounted abilities. Discounted abilities help so, so much in this game. As you guys know, Madden 22 is a completely ability-driven game. So those Ultimate Legend LTDs like Jerry Rice and Ed Reed and Alan Fanica and Patrick Kearney, they are just major, major assets to any Ultimate team. They will win you games day in and day out just because they get those crazy abilities for so cheap 
And as you can see here, guys, on this pack opening, I don't think I pull anything else too crazy. Um, just some higher Ultimate Legend pieces, some nice little strategy cards. But it wasn't a bad pack opening um, for what it's worth. I did re-roll training a lot. I ended up up like... I'd say 50,000 training at one point and I had the Jeremy Chin and from there I just rolled it out as much as I could and I'm pretty sure I made um, after the Jeremy Chin got sold probably another 350 to 400,000 coins just off the uh, quick sells from the strategy cards so all in all it wasn't a bad pack opening it definitely helped the coin stack quite a bit uh, if you guys do decide to get the level 15 offer just be weary that you're probably not going to pull anything too crazy. I know it's 98 pluses, but it's most likely going to be draft cards or ultimate legends like I got, which isn't the worst thing in the world, you know. It's still a lot of training, and training is a little bit more expensive than it has been in the following following months um, because of the training variety pack, and you can even try to save it for the weekend, maybe try to pull an ultimate legend LTD or a golden ticket. Uh, I know that uh, we still have a few golden ticket releases left and a few ultimate legend releases left. I'm not sure if there's going to be any more promos in Madden 22. Um, I know that the development team is getting prepared for Madden 23 and that the devs don't really care about this game too much, especially current gen. So I wouldn't expect any patches or more promos or anything. Maybe we get power up expansion, but that would be the extent of what I would expect us to get. Maybe maybe positional heroes but this late in the year i wouldn't expect much more than that all right boys that's going to do it for today's video first of all i wanted to apologize for the lack of uploads obviously my account got banned i started this new account uh, shortly thereafter because i had a feeling that my account wasn't going to get unbanned being it's so late in the year i know this happened to a lot of other people but when the whole thing happened with the derrick henry's and isaiah simmons and they dropped in price dramatically during the Christmas market crash. Um, it was a lot different thing because so many people were ripping packs and so many people had bought and sold Derrick Henry at escalated prices because of the presence and whatever. Um, that There was a huge uproar from the community and EA had to take action. Uh, here, I think it was just uh, maybe 50 to a couple hundred people that got banned um, because of EA's detection system on the auction house and the uh, escalated prices for the GTs and then how they dropped dramatically once the training variety packs came out. Um, I feel like EA didn't have as much push to actually go in there and unban people uh, being that not as many people got banned as they did during Christmas. But that being said, um, I want to start a new thing on the channel guys and if you like the channel and you like the content and you want to play me in a game of Madden 22 Ultimate Team and have it featured on the channel, then leave a comment down below letting me know you like the video. Um, if you're liked and subscribed to the channel, I'm going to pick a random comment every week from a random video, and you're going to have a chance to play me in Madden 22 Ultimate Team, and we are going to post it on the channel each and every week. But that being said, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, stay tuned. For your boys' upcoming Madden 22 Ultimate Team content, I have an absolute banger coming for you tomorrow. So be ready for that. This is Killer Cam Friend. I'm out. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.